Hey everyone! Welcome to today's English practice session. Today, we're talking about our favorite Sunday relaxation routines. I'm Paul, and with me is Alex. Now, Paul works as a marketing consultant, and he really enjoys spending his weekends recharging, especially Sundays. On the other hand, Alex here is a software developer, and I hear he's got a pretty solid Sunday routine going too. We'd love to hear what your Sunday routines look like, so make sure to drop a comment below. So, Alex, how do you usually start your Sunday morning? Do you sleep in or get up early to enjoy some peace? Oh, I'm definitely the early bird on Sundays. I like to get up, make myself a cup of coffee, and just enjoy the quiet. There's something about a calm, early Sunday morning that feels like a fresh start, you know? I usually sit on the porch and catch up on some reading before the day really gets going. How about you? Sleeping in or early riser? Oh, I'm more of a sleep in kind of guy on Sundays. So, do you have any special Sunday rituals? Absolutely. I've got a few. After my morning coffee and reading, I'll take a long walk if the weather's nice. It helps clear my head. Sometimes, I'll even listen to a podcast while I walk. And if I'm feeling it, I might start watching a new series. It's like my little reward for making it through the week. That sounds pretty relaxing. Do you ever dedicate Sundays to self care? Oh, yeah. Sunday is my self care day for sure. I'll take a longer shower, maybe do a face mask. Yeah, I said it. A face mask. It's just nice to pamper myself. Lately, I've been getting into meditation too. Even if it's just for 10 to 15 minutes, it's a good way to center myself before the work week begins. I think everyone should have at least one self care ritual on Sundays. I totally agree. Speaking of which, do you ever spend Sundays outdoors? I try to when I can. I love hiking, so if the weather's good, I might hit a trail nearby. Sometimes I'll just spend time in the garden, pulling weeds, or planting new stuff. It's surprisingly therapeutic. Plus, being in nature is such a stress reliever. It really helps me reset. Sounds like a good mix. What about spending time with family or friends on Sundays? Oh, for sure. Sunday afternoons are usually for catching up with family or close friends. We might have lunch together, or sometimes I'll just call my parents to check in. It's nice to reconnect, especially when the week gets so busy. My friends and I also have this tradition of playing board games every few Sundays. It's fun and helps us unwind together. Nice. Do you have a go to meal or treat you indulge in on Sundays? Oh man, Sundays are all about comfort food. I'll usually whip up a big breakfast pancakes, eggs, bacon, the whole works. And later, I like to treat myself to something sweet, maybe some brownies or ice cream. You gotta treat yourself on Sunday, right? Definitely. Now, let's talk about the Sunday scaries. Do you ever get anxious about the week ahead? Oh, the Sunday scaries are real. I used to get them all the time, worrying about the work week before it even started. But now, I try to deal with it by setting some time aside in the evening to plan out my week. That way, It feels like I'm easing into Monday 
instead of being blindsided by it. A little planning goes a long way. Smart move. How do you balance relaxing with getting ready for the week? It's definitely a balance. I'll spend most of the day relaxing, but by late afternoon or evening, I switch gears. I'll do a quick tidy up around the house and maybe plan my meals for the week. It's all about finding that sweet spot where you're still enjoying your Sunday, but also setting yourself up for a smooth Monday. Do you listen to anything specific to help you unwind? Yeah, I've got a playlist of chill music that I like to listen to while I relax. Sometimes I'll throw on a podcast, especially ones about travel or food. They're light and easy to listen to, and they take my mind off work stuff. It's just enough to help me unwind, without completely zoning out. That sounds great. Do you have any personal routines that make Sunday feel special? I'd say the key for me is making sure Sunday feels different from the rest of the week. Whether it's a nice meal, time spent outdoors, or doing something creative, like journaling or baking, I like to do things that feel unique to Sunday. It's almost like a reset button for me. By doing those things, it makes the day stand out and feel special. And how do you make the most of your Sunday before Monday hits? Honestly, by keeping it simple and not overthinking it. I just try to focus on the things that make me happy and relaxed. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, indulging in a good meal, or just kicking back with a good book, I make sure I'm fully in the moment. That way, when Monday comes around, I feel recharged and ready to tackle the week. That's some really good advice, Alex. Thanks for sharing your Sunday routine. I think everyone could pick up a tip or two from this. Sundays are important, and it's great to see how you make the most of them. No problem. I think everyone should have a Sunday routine that works for them. It's all about recharging in your own way. Absolutely. Well, that's it for today's session, everyone. We'd love to hear about your own Sunday routines, so drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more conversations like this. We'll catch you next time. Yeah, let us know what makes your Sunday special. We'd love to hear it.